He works too hard for a little boy. He should have some time to play. As soon as I get my strength back, I'm going to get out of this bed and help him. Wake up! Wake up! Charlie's home! Well, it's yours too, Charlie. What are you saying? What difference does it make where he got it? Point is, he got it. No one's going to pay for it, Charlie. I'm giving it up. When a loaf of bread looks like a banquet, I've no right paying tobacco. And right he was, Charlie. Not since the tragic day Willy Wonka locked it. Because all the other chocolate makers in the world were sending in spies dressed as workers to steal Mr. Wonka's secret recipes. Especially Slugworth. Oh, that Slugworth was the worst. Finally, Mr. Wonka shouted, I should be ruined. Close the factory. And that's just what he did. He locked the gates and vanished completely. And then about three years later, the most amazing thing happened. The factory started working again, full blast. And more delicious candies were coming out more than ever before. But the gates stayed locked so that no one, not even Mr. Slugworth, could steal them. Thousands must be helping him. That is the biggest mystery of them all. I told you, Charlie, I've given it up. Go on, open it. One ticket left. Let's see some of that gold. Turn it off. Well, that's that. No more golden tickets. Not a Charlie, it wasn't. A little boy's got to have something in this world to hope for. What's he got to hope for now? Yeah, let him sleep. Let him have one last dream. You're pulling our legs, Charlie. There aren't any more golden tickets. Greetings to you, the lucky finder of this golden ticket, from Mr. Willy Wonka. Present this ticket at the factory gate at ten o'clock in the morning on the first day of October, and do not be late. You may bring with you one member of your own family, but no one else. In your wildest dreams, you could not imagine the marvelous surprises that await you. Charlie, you've done it! What she wants is a good kick in the pants. Because, Charlie, she's a nitwit. It's sure, Charlie, it's got more gas in it than a politician. Mr. Wonka, I just wanted to ask about the chocolate, the lifetime supply of chocolate for Charlie. When does he get it? Why not? What rules? We didn't see any rules, did we, Charlie? You're a crook. You're a cheat and a swindler. That's what you are. How could you do a thing like this? Build up a little boy's hope and then smash all his dreams to pieces. You're an inhuman monster! Come on, Charlie. Let's get out of here. I'll get even with him if it's the last thing I do. If Slugworth wants a gobstopper, he'll get one. You did it, Mr. Walker. Congratulations! Yeah, look over here, Charlie. I think I see our house. It really looks beautiful.